Any of you remember that game? What was that game? Uh, Hightail. That was it. Remember the High Pixel guys? They were doing a standalone game. They had that trailer that dropped. When was it? When did that trailer drop? That was uh, December thirteenth, two thousand eighteen. Big trailer, dude. Almost fifty three million views. Did a few videos early on. They had those blog posts, reacted to some of the trailer stuff. Uh, been a while since they've had any new news release on the game. Is it still happening? Is the game still going? And it turns out it is. They actually released uh, several blog posts a few days ago. And it's, I, you know what? I'm happy that they have said words because it's been a while since they've said words. And I've been hanging on the lack of words. And I was hoping they'd put out more words so I can hang on those those further words. So this is exciting for me. I have more words on which to hang and practice my real lack of grip strength. So thank you guys for doing this. So they've got a few posts. Uh, one of them is kind of just the overarching, what is the status? What does the future hold? The other is more specific with like graphics, what the game's gonna look like. And then there's another one that's uh, just the general progress on the development of the game. So starting with like the high level stuff, where are they at? That was in this blog post here, the development update. We got a few nice little screenshots of the game. To summarize all of the text here that they're saying, um, it seems like the way I gather it is the trailer and the initial response to the game went so much bigger than they could have possibly imagined that they had to be like, whoa, okay, so we gotta blow this out of the water when we actually drop it. So we need to polish this, make it absolutely beautiful. We've got a massive chance here to ha drop something big and we don't wanna waste that. So we're gonna, we gotta invest a lot of hours into polishing this thing and making it as good as it possibly can be. And that's time consuming and Therefore, uh, it might take a little bit longer than we had initially imagined. So, uh, right here it says, um, we're planning for Hytale to be playable by everyone in 2021. Admittedly, even for me, I, I, uh, I did not expect it to be that far out. Initially, when they dropped the trailer, I figured it was gonna be out sometime in 2019, because they wouldn't wanna like capitalize on the momentum. That trailer had so much momentum. I, f I figured like, oh, okay, you guys, you're gonna have a beta out within like six months or so. That way, like this thing just steamrolls ahead. You get to snowball off of all of the press and attention you're getting. So that said, I'm still very excited for the game, but 2021 is a good bit of distance away. And I, uh, I hope that this general community around sandbox style games, Minecraft, what have you, stays really strong for the next couple of years. And then when this comes out, it'll drop, be a big hit, and uh, it'll be good times all around. But the internet changes really fast. You don't know exactly where things are gonna be in a couple of years. I can't predict the future, but I certainly hope we'll be in a similar place and uh, it'll be able to take off from there. I do have, like, obviously the game wasn't ready. There's no way, there's no if it were released this year. It just wouldn't be where it needs to be to have a successful launch. Um, but there is that part of me that's like, man, the whole Minecraft coming back up at the end of summer, going into fall here. Oh, if they had, uh, if they'd been able to drop it over the summer, oh my goodness. I feel like it would have been, and I'm sure that they know that the development team and they're like, we couldn't have done that if we wanted to. So stop saying what if it wasn't a possibility. But anyway, anyway, I'm rooting for you guys. So I'm just, I'm vocalizing here. But anyway, it sounds like they, they do say it was intimidating. The fact that it had such a massive, massive response and they don't want to let people down. So uh, it means that you know, they're trying to polish things. The reason why there haven't been as many blog posts and updates and new stuff about the game is because they're holding things back because they want to show things from this point on that are considered launch ready in their minds. I don't know if that's purely on them as developers. I know they had some venture capital investment and it could perhaps be like the advisors and board seats saying, hey, you guys, this is a better way to handle the development. We see you and Minecraft people like being super duper uh, open about sharing steps of the process, but maybe hold off. Maybe don't share quite as much. Just wait till it's polished and, and do it that way. But whatever the case may be, uh, I'm happy that they did drop more info and I'll stay, man. I'm hoping 2020, they said everyone by 2021, which means maybe there will be some kind of beta uh, this coming year. We're very close to 2020, so it's possible. I'll keep my hope up. 
and uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe summer 2020. I feel like that could still be a good time, timing-wise, to drop a beta. Never be too soon, though. Next up, though, we got a we got a little graphics update, more actual like hands-on stuff about the game. As I'm sure you would have imagined, just based on the footage, should you have seen it so far. And feel free to go check back on my other videos of other Hytale stuff. There's a whole playlist on this channel you can check out. It's linked in the description. Watch all my videos while you're at it. It's, uh, it's good quality content. You know the drill. Anyway, so it has real-time shadows as the sun and moon move across the sky, the shadows will follow it. So, you know, kind of Minecrafty shader-esque, but obviously in the default game, as you would expect from, from what we've seen so far. But I guess they've added some kind of more technical shadow mapping. I don't know all the technical details of things, but it does seem like the, the shadows, as opposed to like Minecraft shaders, where it's kind of just on a block by block basis, you might get some more realistic silhouette outlines of, of things that have more detail to them, um, whatever blocks those might be in the game, because we don't really know the names of everything. And it says, yeah, entity shadows reflect the exact shape, so you can see like the axe here reflects to an actual look of an axe on the ground, that sort of stuff. Um, and then they have a nice little video demonstrating the real-time shadows as the day progresses. Looks pretty cool. I like it. I like shadows. I like ambient occlusion. I like RTX on. Give me that ray tracing. I'm due for a computer upgrade at some point. I feel, I think I've been using mine for like what, four years now, which you know, it's my, okay, when it's my job to play video games and make videos, maybe four years is it, like, you know, not everyone upgrades that regularly, but, but four years when you do it every day and you need like, it's, I might do it. I might upgrades. I just, it's such a pain for me to set up a new computer, but I digest. That was Captain Sparkles, or sorry, Jordan Reacts reference, so probably didn't land here, but anywho, looks cool. It's looking nice. Also though, dude, the caustics. Mmm. I like the caustics, which is the the thing. I don't know if that's the actual like real world term for it, but I know in like Maya 3D animation software it's called caustics when you have the uh like the water reflections of the light that's all those little stringy bits down there, you know? And they like change a bunch and anyway, looks pretty. I like that. I like the underwater look. That's pretty cool, dude. That's pretty sweet. And then they also have a uh, nice reflection, as you probably guess. Like you can see the trees kind of reflected in the water over on the end over there. So looking nice. Also, we're getting like better looks at what the characters are gonna look like. And I'm curious if you're gonna have free reign over what they look like, or if they're gonna have like a a character designer built into the game, what have you. Uh, we'll see though. I'm sure they'll talk more about that at a later date. We got Bloom, we've got God's Rays. So again, things you might expect to see from the, the Minecraft shaders and whatnot. But then, oh, you get some real cool looking. So this isn't even about the lighting down here. It's like just the, the taint. Hash, hashtag taint confirmed in Hytale. This is gonna be something that spreads and you have to control it and you have to contain it, but you can't really ever contain it perfectly and then it overruns your entire world and it eats your home and you're like, ah, oh, that's a bummer. Made my house here, didn't really realize that was underground. That's gonna, that's gonna really suck. Anyway, there's uh, there's more particle effects, additional textures. It's, uh, they just go on to share a few more images of various scenarios you might run into in the game. I like this one though, because you can see like the more, um, yeah, the smaller objects and just blocks kind of casting and reacting to the shadows more intricately. And like you can see the reflection of the design of the window. It actually takes into account the opaque versus transparent bits of a window block and it casts them on the wall behind. So that's pretty cool stuff. And then, and then, this doesn't really have anything to do with the graphic stuff, but they were just like, at the end of this, by the way, uh, here's a video of combat in Hytale, so check it out. Why don't you watch? Bro. It's pretty cool. They said, like, this is not final stuff by any means, but just a, a look at things. And I do like... I do like the fancy, like, taking a spell out of a book and then throwing it, and then also the mobs kind of disintegrate into their various body parts. Am I demonetized now? 
It's kind of like, it reminds me of Disney Infinity, how you'd have the toy in Disney Infinity, like when it got unalived, which they wouldn't call it that in Disney either. It would just kind of crumble into its components. So, just a, a brief look at Hytale Combat. Emerald Grove Ruins, uh, unalive the skeleton. So I guess it like actually gives you a mission, which is pretty cool, so you can have guided quests. So that looks like a little sneak preview as well, because obviously when it comes to Minecraft, unless you're playing with a mod or something like that, you're not actually gonna have a pop-up in game that says, oh, you've made it to this location, go through and complete the objective. So I like the objective-oriented things that will be options, I'm sure. And the next blog post details some of the new features they've brought into the game recently, starting off with uh, they've got some new biomes, one of which is an autumn forest. So I guess it's always autumn. Will they have a winter forest as well as a summer and spring forest that are always at that season? I don't know. Or maybe this one actually does change with the seasons, I guess. We'll see. And then they've also got this oasis in zone two, which looks pretty cool, kind of in the middle of a mountain biome. You've got this very, very tropical, nice looking pond where, I don't know if drinking is a thing that you have to keep up with in the game and you have to drink water every now and again. I guess you can find it here when you're in the middle of a very harsh mountainous environment or something of the sort, but it does look nice. You can just lounge around, sit in a lawn chair that hopefully you can craft, be able to sit. Minecraft doesn't really have sitting unless you're in a minecart, so uh, chairs that you can sit in. A big change, you wouldn't have to code it on the server side plugin. And another little image of the oasis. They're also working on farming so that you can farm crops. And they're also working on the livestock. And it says <laughs> that um, they're, they're gonna have an animal happiness system. And the animal happiness system is, uh, is gonna be based on a few factors, including feed, availability of good bedding, and the company of similar creatures. So in other words, Captain Barkles wouldn't wouldn't be very happy if we were to go by this system, but uh, I'll tell you, company similar creatures, my completely overloaded, empty, crammed farms, um, they'd have similar creatures around them, so we'd be a big plus there. I have a feeling we'd, we'd possibly go very much into the negatives on the availability of good bedding, unless you count cows being able to sleep on other cows as good bedding. I've never tried it, cows might make good beds. You just can't knock it till you do, okay? It does say though that harvesting crops will grow in real time over the course of several in-game days, which seems like it takes a long time, so hopefully there will be a bone meal type system in place to assist with that sort of thing. Also, there's a little target over here, dude. It's like you're gonna have little practice things for shooting arrows, just a little sneak peek Easter egg in there of sorts. And real fancy looking blocks right here, dude. Freaking torch, uh, maybe green torches. Green fire helps grow crops faster. I like the variety of crops though. It's very cool. It looks like we have a bunch of we have carrots. We have eggplants, maybe, is that an eggplant? We got, I don't know if those are potatoes or cauliflower, different actual flowers, pumpkins, wheat, it's looking like over there. A little sneak peeks also, well, item here in the first slot of the inventory almost looks like a wagon that you can put things in and bring around with you. So I'm sure if you go through all the screenshots here, you might be able to find some little sneak peeks of things you can definitely overanalyze. And uh, they've also shown some screenshots of new monsters and stuff, including whatever in the world this thing is going to be called, which I don't think they've actually named it yet, but um, kind of terrifying. The mouth kind of reminds me of one of those underwater sea worm things that just has a really unsettling thing of teeth and it needs, I guess it would be a little bit more circular, but still um, it's unsettling to say the least. Sideways vertical mouth, not not big on running into something like that. So with the stringy hair, mm, a little bit terrifying. And then also dude, I'm just, I'm looking forward to the underground environments. Okay, with whatever dungeons they're gonna have and loot that you can get. Look at this armor set, looking pretty sweet. Don't know what tier it is. Might be low tier. I don't know, don't care, because it looks cool. So I'll take it anyway, and I will gladly get absolutely destroyed by mobs when it's super low tier, just because it looks cool. And then, most importantly, I think, uh, dinosaurs confirmed. 
have we seen anything on dinosaurs before? I don't know that we've seen anything on dinosaurs, but it says, why is my glass of water shaking? Which is, of course, a Jurassic Park reference, which means that not only do we have Triceratops, apparently, but it means that there's T-Rex. And I don't know if that's the T-Rex back there. That doesn't look quite big enough, or maybe it's just hard to tell because it's really far away, but it's like a T-Rex and what is it? An angler fish? That's the one with the, the little thing, the really un deep, deep water fish that has the light on its head. They did this and then out popped this dinosaur. Very large, very, very large. I, I think it was the dinosaur that gave birth to it because I don't think the fish would, it would work very well. I, I just stretched that joke too far. Anyway, yeah, but dude, dinosaurs confirmed. And that's the biggest news of them all. Hightail has dinosaurs. If there's one moral of the story that you're gonna walk away from here, it's, it's that Hightail is gonna have dinosaurs, at the very least Triceratops, and probably some T-Rex kind of centipede looking thing there as well. So that's pretty cool. Jurassic Park, Fallen Kingdom in Hightail, instead of Fallen Kingdom in Minecraft, or Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom, which Nick has things to say about as he's editing this video but he'll reserve them. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much it. There was one more blog post that they had on music, but given that these videos are ones where I talk, uh, music doesn't lend itself very well to commentary and stuff because you just want to hear the music. So you can check that one out on your end, on your end if, if you want to do that. Uh, but otherwise, that's what's new on Hytale. They're still developing the game. I'm hoping there will be playable things come 2020. I have no insider information once again. I'm getting fed things with the public and uh, excited to learn more. So thanks for tuning in. Hightail guys, let's, let's see some, I wanna play. If you wanna let me play anything, you you know, Noxie, you know to, you can hit me up. Simon, you hit me up. I'll give it, I'll give it a play. Sign whatever NDAs you want me to sign and all that good stuff. Just, just throwing it out there. Okay, cool. I'm glad we could have this talk. All right, make sure to like if you'd like, check out the playlist if you wanna catch any of the previous Hightail stuff. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more eventual Hytale gameplay coming 2021 at the latest. All right, see you next time.